For a second day, Philadelphia police have an increased presence in parts of the city. Matt Petrillo is in Center City with more on that and the very latest on what D.C. rioters could be facing. Hi, Matt. Hey, Jess, there was a big police presence here in Center City. Behind me, there's about a dozen officers outside the Municipal Services Building. And take a look across the street from City Hall outside. There are a group of bicycle officers. Now, police tell us there is no known threat to this city, but they'll be out here out of an abundance of caution. Philly's Emergency Operations Center is activated for a second day to keep a closer watch over the city after Wednesday's riots at the Capitol building and around national landmarks on Independence Mall. Visitors may also notice an uptick in law enforcement. 24/7, you're going to see an increased security presence. Meantime, Bill McSwain, the Trump-appointed U.S. Attorney in Philadelphia, tweeted Thursday he reached out to his colleagues in D.C. to offer quote any possible assistance in sorting out and prosecuting any federal crimes that were committed. They broke many federal laws. Chip Gallagher is the chair of the Criminal Justice Department at LaSalle University. He says rioters could be charged with trespass. Passing, destruction of federal property, and more. This is the Capitol building. I guarantee you that there are cameras everywhere. And now they have face recognition information. Police in Washington already made dozens of arrests, including Leonard Guthrie of Cape May, for unlawful entry of the federal building. And the FBI announced it's seeking the public's help to identify more. Charles Ramsey is a former Philadelphia police commissioner and blames Trump for the chaos at the Capitol. This is about as close to a coup, coup attempt that the, the, the uh, country's ever gotten to. Criminally liable. Meantime, University of Pennsylvania law professor Claire Finkelstein believes it's possible Trump committed a crime. The question is whether or not the president was intentionally trying to interfere with the peaceful transition of power and trying to launch an attack using his supporters as weapons against the U.S. government. And so she also says if additional facts emerged that showed the intentionality on the part of the president, he could be guilty of sedition. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you for that. And stay with Eyewitness News for the very latest on the chaos at the Capitol. You can always track developments on air and online at cbsphilly.com and on our streaming service, CBSN Philly.